by him. We'll start by looking back at the Chorley game. A roller coaster of emotions, really. Just how good did it feel to grab a 93rd minute winner? Um, it was, well, you could see by the players' reaction, it was brilliant. You know, everyone just went mental. Didn't they? <laughs> it was, I think, it, I think scoring at that point in the game, I think it's better than winning 3 4 0. I think 2 1 in 93rd minute. Everyone just, emotions just take over, don't they? We created a lot of chances early on, but ended up falling behind at half time. What was the message to the lads at half time that inspired the comeback? Just to keep playing the way we were playing. You know, chances were going to come, obviously, they were down to 10 men. We just, we just had to keep keep going, stick to our game plan, and chances were going to come to us. And obviously, right for a minute, it fell to nausea, and that's what we had to keep doing, it's going to end. That win sets up Sunday's final against Brackley. What have you made of the season they've had and how difficult of an opponent do you think they're going to be? Well, I think it shows in the league that they had the best defence so, and we had the best attack. So obviously it's going to be a difficult game, but we've got the quality going forward so I would imagine we can get the result we need. It's your first season back at the club after a year spent in the National League. Did you expect to be up there fighting for promotion at the end of this season, back at the start? The quality of players that we brought in I always thought it was going to be in and around there. Um, I think we've done better than probably we thought. You know, we had like a plan to obviously go up, and we were just unfortunate not to get the title. But we're still in thick of it all, and we've got obviously one game to go. I think we'll get over that line and get the team where they need to be, and that's in the other league. The response to Sunday's match has been fantastic with tickets selling out in 24 hours. Does that come across to you as players that the town's really getting behind the team? Yeah, the, the fans have been brilliant all season, even away from home. You know, they've followed us and they've kept going. Even when we've slipped up towards back end of the season, they're still here and they've sold out quick, which is good. And they've stuck, like I said, they've stuck behind us every single game, home and away. They've been fantastic. The attendance is a problem, but as you say, and it's looking like a crowd of 3,000 people. Does that make a difference as a player playing in front of a packed stadium? It does, but even when we haven't had that many here before, they've all, they're, they're always behind us and they're always singing and they're always carrying on. Obviously, with more people, it'll cheer us up and we'll just, we just keep going, you know. And like I say, I've said it before, they've been fantastic all season. So, with that, with that 12th man, we just well for level and we'll just go for that win on Sunday. Cheers. Thank you.